Hello everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Let's carry on where we last left off. Alright, so if we want to build something that can land on Mun, what do we need? Well, get these gone, we have better stuff. Why would Minimus be easier? Would you think like a planet with less gravity would be easier to do? I mean, I'll take your word for it, but we're not to the point yet where we decide where to land. We just need to build something that can land. So I'm assuming we're going to use these LT1 struts. take a bit more of a beating it seems 12 meters per second versus 10 meters it's not really all that much so do we go so how do we do it that's the main question here start new with a lander do we have a lander? I don't think we have the lander yet Oh yeah, the M1 like MK1 lander can. I can just replace it. Let's just let's first replace it. delete you. Then we put the lander can. Boink. Boink. Or do I put these on top? I mean, this whole bottom thing is enough to get us to Mun. And back. The thing is just Probably a little bit too high to make it happen. Good. It's so just this thing, but how do we get it back? Okay, you stay, start over, we'll start over, but I don't really see it go well. Okay, let's start up. So, lander can. Good. Plop. Parachutes and a heal shield. Um, thermal. Heat shield. It's like a really big heat shield, but whatever. Parachutes are under utility. Let's put on a giant parachute because I feel like it. Done. Yes, you're talking about stuff I probably don't have yet. I don't even oh, have these RCS fuel things. Put two of those on here. I don't see this going very well, but RCS thruster. Which one? This one? I remember having to put that on four symmetry. There. So now it's got. Might as well put the other ones on then too. Put it like. Do I have even a smaller heat shield? I think I do. One, two, five. This is the smallest one I have, and this one's probably a little bit too small. There. Cool. 
I mean, this looks like something I can crash land somewhere. I don't see it lift off yet, but... <laughs> uh. Chat plays Global Space Program. Anyway, uh, stack the coupler. Do I not need, like, sciencey stuff under there? small one probably not I need a little at least a little bit of fuel to get off of uh so decoupler and then make the rest of the ship then or what it's getting weird Landing legs. Bam. So can I not just use the stuff that got me into orbit or into mun last time? I mean, yeah, it was a little bit wobbly, but it got there in the end. I mean, this looks like something that could land, sure. I don't have any science on board, though. Which is why I find it a bit odd. That I don't have to put in a service bay or anything. I've got zero scientific stuff with me. It looks neat, I'll give it that. Yeah, but it's gonna blow up when we re enter the atmosphere. I've had this happen before, it's just gonna blow up. I'll give it a go, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go like poof, done. All right, let's put some stuff on there then, just in case we do manage to get back. We'll put it on the top. Oh, this thing is big. Okay, we'll put a barometer here. We'll put a goop canister here. We'll put a thermometer here. Okay, we'll put. I'm gonna do this in symmetry just in case. Up, up, up. And bop. Double symmetry. Two of each. Yeah, that'll work. Let's turn that a little bit. That I will put that. I will stick them under here as I did last time. I did last time though explode. I'm fairly sure on that. God, it almost looks professional. Alright.
Coupling will do four because two seems too little and I can't do three. Four last time and it worked pretty well. Uh, engines swivel because they allow me to turn, which is neat. Put some nose cones on. going to moon. Enable cross feed on the couplers. Hmm? Can't do that. Uh, shoot, now we've done it. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, I feel like I can have cross feed. I can't do cross feed thing. It's not a sh not a sh not an option. So you're not just following a tutorial from YouTube, right? I'm not really here to build something that somebody else has built before. I mean, it's new to me, but I mean, if somebody in chat later goes, oh, he's building the same ship that guy has made. Wow, riveting. Then it's uh, really not what I'm planning to do. I mean, can we just like plop like a whole bunch of more stuff on here? Like do one more phase of this, below this, put the things on there. There's another parachute floating around. Like put decouplers here, put the same thing under here, then put thumpers next to it and see how far it goes. it that's what I like to hear so that means these are gonna be used mostly for I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna get rid of some of these then I know it's not going with more boosters, it's uh, unbelievable, but yeah, I'll do that later. Let's just build the thing first. So what happens if you now go like this and then try to put on a decoupler? Where does he put them? He only puts on one. Why? Ah. So we do here, let's go like here. Uh, 
Oh man, bad idea in the making, but um, I never stopped this before. Fuel tanks. One. Two. Three. Four. This doesn't look like any rocket I've ever seen, but who cares, right? Um, put some nose cones on all that jazz. Plop and plop. Put the engines under. We'll go with swivels as they allow me to turn. Yeah, sure, put two of those under there. That'll help. Look at the horror we've created. Okay, um... Let me put some thumpers on. Which you want to decouple again. As soon as they run out. Tell I've done this before. He lied. Stable as nothing. Nose cones. So this is how you not get anywhere. I want to try it because I know it's going to just blow up into a million bits. Yeah, that's why we're here. I don't think this is going to have much control, but <laughs> I appreciate the misplaced trust, I guess. Oh, God. Well, let's save. <sighs> let's put this on full blast. Let's check staging. So you want these and these to fire simultaneously. What are you? You are those two. So you're all together in one phase. You need to be here as well. So first phase, these fire, those fire, those two fire, and those fire. Then we need to set it. These decouple. Good. Then those decouple, along with these. What the hell? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, well, I'm just checking staging for now. And these decouple and that thing fires. Okay. Well, that looks alright. It's gonna be a disaster for sure, but... Good. 
good enough. have we created all right put all these at 70 good well let's give it a shot oh we aren't allowed to Launch Stability Enhancer. Looks like something we could use. Let's bring the plane... Let's bring the thing up down a bit more first before we... Drop it from God knows how high. Well, let's see if it blows up. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, we know it flies now. Let's, uh... Revert flight to vehicle assembly. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna set these a little bit higher because it seems like it's getting struggling a little bit to get off the ground. Give it a little bit more boost. Good. Save. Launch. <clears throat> SAS on, throttle at full. And once we hit 100 meters per second, we'll turn to the right. Maybe a little bit. Dude, this thing is like way too stable. It's not allowed to be this stable. <laughs> Chuck. First bit of fuel. And half of them stuck. Uh. Okay. So something is wrong. Something is not stuck to the decouplers as it should be. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, I've been told to keep the... Um, uh, G-force meter in the green. So one of you is not attached to their decoupler. Is it you? You're attached to it. Just put it at the 
bottom here. We'll set you at the bottom. Oh, it's probably you guys. Okay, let's revert. Uh, cancel. Open. Don't save this one. Load. So these ones look like they are attached properly. These ones don't. Yeah, I know I don't finish drawing. I was just trying to figure out the problem. See, now you were attached to them. Okay. Let's move you back up to where your buddies are. Good. I don't think these are going to cause problems. Not sure why. Let's check staging. So these drop, those two fire, those two fire, those two fire, those two fire, the couple, those. Then when these are empty, they get decoupled as well, firing those engines. When they're empty, the tough at the bottom should decouple, firing this engine, and then we're good to go. Okay. Save. Hey, hey. Um, are you even attached? You were like really wonky for a sec there. Looks fine. Right. Revert flight because I forgot to turn SES on again. Let's hit a hundred. We'll start doing a slight gravity turn. There we go. We'll already do it because can't wait. Yeah, it's not the best one. We're off course by a bit. There we go. Set. There. there. He's veering off again. Well, there's a problem. These things don't get flung off far enough, so what if we just move them further to the outside? It's brilliant. And admittedly kind of stupid, but... Let's open it up because I always forget about something. This time it was symmetry again. Okay, symmetry on. So we'll move these up to here. Move these up to... What are you, what are you doing? Can't believe that actually worked. Okay, uh, then we need to remove. 
put these on here. Don't worry, we'll lower these in a little bit. So these fins are set properly, these ones aren't. Because I still have to move them. Yeah, 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 I will, I will. That means the fins are good as well. Then we move the boosters down. Struts are still eh, sort of alright. Uh, yeah, these kind of didn't do very well, but whatever. I can't really find anything to put them on, so it's fine. The struts that I want to keep are still there. I could put one in between here, but it doesn't matter too much. Alright, save. Launch. Skeptical, but... Let's lower thrust a bit. And now you're gonna realign yourselves? What? Why? The swivels. What are you doing? I'm not expecting you to really fly straight, considering how you came to be, but... Eh, we're still doing the turn little by little, I guess. I don't hold out a lot of hope for this thing, though. This thing is as easy to steer as a bloody boat. We'll see you when we get there. So basically, my previous design would work better. Either that or I just completely goofed the launch. Uh, 
let's put ourselves like so. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult getting back, I think. Let's see. If we can get if we can't even get to orbit with our current stage, then we'll call it quits. Maybe. Get the mun with what we currently have. Kinda doubt it, but a little bit left I mean how much f stuff did you think we would still need to have we've got a little bit of liquid fuel here and then we still have the yeah I know but that's gonna do it for this episode so thank you guys for watching hope you're starting the series feel free to show support by coming liking and or subbing if you haven't already I'm seeing you guys on the next episode bye everyone